get. Elsa is now about 16 weeks old and I'm so happy for the work I have done so far with the everyday obedience. I have worked a lot with the exercises in the book and Elsa is working very, very nice with everything in the daily life. It's so easy when you start the everyday obedience really early because you build so good habits. Another nice thing is that Elsa is very used to stay together with different kind of dogs, different breeds, different ages and also used to, to be together with people and children and she's doing that very 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 well. The latest week we have started to work a lot with the, uh, the working uh, with tracking and searching and uh, we st I started to do some small tracks with her and uh, after maybe one or two times she was really 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 excited about it so 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 she really really fast learned that this was something really really funny so so she seems to be a to, to be a very good tracking dog i think We have also start the searching for small objects and I try to, to make her find out by herself what to do to go out and find something because I would like the dog to use the nose before the dog use the legs too much if you understand what I mean. When the dog is searching I want the dog to 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 to, you, to to sneeze more than run. It's very easy to get the opposite, that the dog is running more than than he's searching. So that's why I try to let her find out by herself. That go out, search and find something. And right right here, she doesn't have. She doesn't really understand what to do, but she tried to do something and find something, and that gives her a very good experience. Yes! We have also continued the searching after people and this is a little bit like uh, like tracking. Uh, Elsa really really loves to do this. She's very very excited. Immediately when, when you come out into the wood she expected some kind of work. So this is really really funny. And I think with a young dog training searching after people the absolute most um, important thing is to build up a lot of good relation to, to, to the decoy. So she plays a lot with the decoy and that will give her very very good experience so she really wanted to do this again. And before I started, started the searching I spent a lot of time with just finding a good way to play with the decoy because if the dog plays well it will be easy to, to, 
to, to continue the training. Unfortunately, this this time we we had quite little time for obedience. We have continued with the heel work and try to build a good attitude and good position in that. And um, I think she's doing it pretty well. And that we just have to continue this and and walk longer and uh, do more turnings and. Uh, a little bit late, later, also start to to take away take away my health with the hand. Something that I really try to do every time in every session is to make an entrance on the field. If the dog does do, do that a lot it will be easy to go in on a competition. So we try to do that every time we enter the field. We try to do it like in competition. I also teach her to have a good waiting. I want the dog to wait with high focus, high concentration and be absolutely still. So waiting should for the dog also be a work. And it also starting to work pretty well, I think. Elsa is now a little bit older and my ne next thing to do is to, to, to make a, a really, really good plan for, for the coming training. I use our No Limits training book and I will do plans for the year, for a month, for every week and uh, try to follow up the training. So in the next film I will show you a little about how we plan and how we continue the work. I'm happy that you come here again. Have a nice time and see you in a couple of weeks.